Okay, so this is kind of ridiculous, but I just got here and um, took off my shirt and was about to go take a shower, and I was like, you know what? I need to do a thankfulness video, a grateful video. Well, whenever I took off my shirt, I took off my hat, but my hat, or my hair, rather, is a mess because um, I've been wearing a hat for the last two days. Uh, so... Um, <laughs> I arrived in San Diego last night, uh, got here, and I was like, I wonder if there's any... Sorry, I keep closing my eyes. I am so tired. <sighs> I wonder if there's any um, coffee shops that are 24 hours. I need to edit and upload a video. And so uh, it's New Year's Eve, and I was like, you know what? The coffee shop will actually, if I can find a coffee shop, it'll probably be really slow because it's New Year's Eve. People are going to be doing other things besides going to a coffee shop. And I was right. I was pretty right. There's were some people there, but for the most part, it was really slow. Um, and so I edited a video, the 40 minute video, which was really long. Um, and then got in this like ungrateful mood and I shouldn't have, and I would need to work on staying out of it as much as possible. It's very difficult at times, especially whenever you are traveling like nonstop and you don't have a home base and you don't, I keep closing my eyes. I'm probably gonna fall asleep on the video with you. Sorry if I do. <laughs> this thing will come crashing down on my head and like wake me up for sure. Um, but um, it becomes very challenging because you don't have, like I gave up everything. I don't have a home base, don't have my own bed. Um, and yeah, I just got in this like really negative space and I get there and I get in those spaces sometimes uh, whenever I was in Grand Junction a few days ago, I was in that space. And I'm just like, why the hell is this happening to me? Why am I going through this? And, and I just remind myself that I'm going through it because I need to go through it. I need to, like the universe is putting me through this as a learning experience and a, a patience experience and a gratefulness experience. And I know, I believe 100% that... 2020, today is January 1st, actually, uh, that 2020 is going to be a good year. I'm going to make it a great year. Um, it's going to be great for finances. It's going to be great for adding, for meeting and adding amazing people to my life. It's going to be great for experiences because I'm going to just keep traveling for right now. And even after all this is said and done, and hopefully the company gets to a place where they work to... Uh, resolve this and um, that should help my financial situation a little bit to where I feel a little bit more secure and I'm not worried about like losing my car like right now I'm getting calls like non-stop about um, my car payment and so I'm like living in this place of just fear of my car is going to go away and then what am I going to do and because I don't have a way to get anywhere and I don't have really a place to sleep if I don't have like a, a hotel. Which brings me to this, whenever I was out yesterday, whenever I was at the coffee place working on editing the video, um, someone wrote me, there's been a guy that, that wrote me, he's written me a few times and he's offered to get me a hotel in different places and I'm always like, no, I always fight it. I'm always like, no, I, I, I shouldn't, I don't need it, I'll be okay. But finally, um, he was like, I'm just gonna send you money and you can use it for a hotel whenever. And sure enough, today I'm just like, because I didn't have anywhere to sleep last night, I needed to edit that video. And it takes the laptop I have, uh, that 40 minutes of video it took, I think it was like eight hours to process and to export. And it just feels like so long, but I need to be thankful because at least I have a laptop. At least I have a camera to do videos and to be able to share this experience and what I'm doing with everybody and hopefully it helps others too so um like i need to be grateful i need to remain in a grateful place but right now i am so tired um because i stayed up all night doing that finally got it processed and edited then um left that coffee shop and like came to the hotel and i was like is there any way i can check in early and they're like no you can't check in until at least like 11 or 12 so and at that point i think it was like eight o'clock in the morning so i was like okay I'll go to Starbucks and start working on the final things for the video. Sorry. And um, 
then um, got to a place where I could finally upload it and got it uploaded and then uh, by that time it was time to come back to the hotel and I just I miss having a bed <laughs> I miss being able to just be like okay my day is done I'm gonna go lay in my bed and watch TV and you know now I'm very lucky though I have a car that I can sleep in and and then people that have offered to help a lot, which I'm very thankful for. Um, not everybody has that, and so I need to remain thankful. And I, th I know that things are going to get better. I know that they will. And in the meantime, I just I need to be grateful for what I have, for the good that I have, for being able to travel and meet people and have experiences. And, and yes, I'm not like meeting people every day, but when I get to meet people, it's amazing. I get to hear their stories and. I think because I'm so open with my life and what I do and who I am, it helps people like people can watch these videos or see my tweets or see on Instagram that how open I am and I think it helps people to where they feel like they, they know me and and for the most part most people if you if you follow me anywhere you, you know me because I'm not I'm an open book. I have everything I put everything out there in the open so um so that helps people to be able to, because they can see how open I am and they get to know me, they're more open to like sharing themselves with me and like showing me who they are and I appreciate that a lot. Um, this is just getting started and like I'm just going through like the adjustment period and I know I am but, <laughs> but damn it's hard. It gets so difficult but the good outweighs the bad, as always. Um, and like I'm going to keep on just finding the good and everything. Okay, I am going to get off here and go and shower and um, take my contacts out because I've had them in for more than 24, well, like going on like 30, probably 36 hours now. Um, brush my teeth and then probably just relax. Um, Thank you uh, to the person. I don't know. I, he didn't say if I could mention his name or not, so I won't. But thank you. I really appreciate it uh, for getting me the hotel and giving me a place to like rest for a little bit. I really appreciate it. Okay. And thank you for everybody else who's helped in any way that you've helped, from subscribing to the YouTube to, to giving money or just being there to talk to. I appreciate it. I don't want this to be... Jer's, like I said in other videos, I don't want this to be Jer's pity party. I want to get to a place where it's just positive and it kind of maintains itself instead of having to always ask for help from others because I hate, I hate being in a place where I always have to ask for help. It really gets to me. So I want to get beyond that and then turn this into a real adventure that's like self-funded and self, um, self-controlled, self, um, uh, self-made, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what word I'm looking for. I'm tired. Be nice to me. <laughs> okay. I love you all so much. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.